Right now, experts say there is a growing need to support our students in their mental health. It is National School Psychologist Week, and we are learning, despite the need for these specialists inside our school, there's a struggle to find that support. Here's Leslie Lucas. So you know what we're doing today, right? Walking with students, a familiar face at no. Bolton Academy. Jacita Favrier, not a teacher, but a core part of the team, helping students thrive. Children are learning how to be people. You know, they have a good foundation at home, and then when they come to us, we get to teach them how to handle their emotions, how to deal with frustration. A trained psychologist, Favrier calls herself a learning detective, helping kids find their strengths and navigate struggles. She also can assess when additional factors may be at play. If they still continue to struggle, there may be something underlying that we need to discover what that is. It's that type of critical support parent Ashley Belton sought out for her boys. This was something that we had been looking into since our first son was diagnosed um, autistic at the age of four, and they have just been impeccable and just giving us resources. But right now, there are not enough psychologists like Favrier to go around. While Atlanta Public Schools worked to improve its psychologist student ratios in recent years, the district is still trying to hire more as schools across the country struggle to meet recommended ratios amid a shortage. Meanwhile, lawmakers like U.S. Senator Raphael Warnock push for support. Warnock introducing the ASSIST Act earlier this year, advocating for a new grant program to hire and keep mental health professionals in schools. The National Association of School Psychologists saying long-term solutions will, quote, require a multifaceted approach at the local, state, and federal levels. Thankfully, school psychologists are not the only members of teams who support students, but the need is great. 